Hi everyone, this is just a quick video letting you know that I've put up some TV paint brushes onto Gumroad. They are free and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can pick them up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the brushes and how I use them and then after that I'll show you how to put them into TV paint. So I've added 10 brushes to this pack, uh, a mix of ones I've created myself and adjusted ones that TV paint include already. The first two, blue and red, are the ones I use for sketching, rough animation and in-betweens. They act like pencils and are really nice to use. The third brush has got a bit more texture to it and it feels like some traditional charcoal pencils I have. So this next brush is one of my absolute favourites and you've seen this one before because I used it to add texture in my smoke tutorial. I've used it in pretty much every project I've ever made since I made this brush and I'm probably going to keep on using it in every project I make in the future. The next brush I duplicated and adjusted the settings to make it a bit smoother. Now this one is a little like using gouache so it's great for painting and backgrounds. This next one is an edit of the paint spray tool which you can find in this panel to the right. It's a little stronger in opacity than the original and it also responds to the tilt of your pen. I used this to add other colours in my fire tutorial and I've used it a lot on my most recent short film which I will let you know about when it's finally online. Now the seventh brush is a round brush that I use for lining. It's pretty simple and you can get a really smooth line if you use it with the stabiliser tool over here which I've definitely been using a lot more lately. This next one is another rough lining brush. This one is nice for typography because of its shape and how it's rough around the edges. And finally, my cloud brush, which I made for the Anim brush tutorial. So now that I've gone through the brushes, I'll show you how to get them into TV paint. I find it's best to set up a folder for your TV paint brushes. I have mine just on my desktop since it's easy to move things from downloads to there, but you can put yours wherever you like. So head to Gumroad from the link in the description and download the TVPX file and put it in the folder that you've made. Open up TV Paint and go to Custom Panels, scroll all the way down to Load a Custom Panel, click the file that you've saved into your folder and then Load. This new box will appear and you want to click Next. As I've already got this panel installed, if I untick force reinstall it will make a copy of it but if I leave it selected then it will overwrite the original panel for me. Click OK and you're done. If your panel doesn't pop up automatically you can find it in the custom panels menu and then select it. After that you're ready to go. Really hope you like the brushes I've made and use them in future projects. If you do, let me know in the comments, I'd love to see what you make. Like this video if you found it helpful, comment if you've got any questions or you're a bit stuck and I will do my best. Thanks for watching, bye!